Uh, okay, <clears throat> uh, so we'll be doing Guild War a little earlier today. Um, we are. Let's go take a look at what we're ranked. We're against uh, some guild. I don't know what it says. Uh, 149. So hopefully, if we beat this guild, we can break into top 100. Uh, that'd be pretty nice. Uh, the magic uh, text box here that tells us what to do says to just hit whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's go take a look at our defense really quickly. How are we doing? Have anybody attacked us? Hey, somebody attacked us and we won. So that's pretty cool. Um, I switched it over to this down here. Uh, I like... Pardon. I like the um, the cleanse on the Lilius S3. And then the dual attack can either bring uh, Ruel for some heals or it can bring uh, S10A for some, uh, for some AoE cleave with S10A's S1. So... Uh, either way, it's pretty good, I think. Um, and then hopefully there's enough speed on Ruel or on S10A and um, Lilius to really start pressuring the other to the other side. And lastly, um, S10A has uh, what is it? Has the shield because I have Bastion of Perlusia on my Lilius, so the S10A um, gets to have that shield, that barrier. Um, the only problem is that. Uh, I feel like they're really fast. Like they'll just kind of out, like outstrip the barrier. Like they'll they'll outpace the barrier. Um, but who knows? We'll we'll see how it goes later, and we'll we'll take a look uh, next Guild War to see any straggling any straggling attacks uh, going for going uh, as this Guild War continues. Okay, so someone's attacking that one over there. So I guess I'll hit this one and this one, this one, this one, and this one. That looks like uh, the way to go. Let's go take a look over here. Uh, maybe I should hit this one to help give someone else a chance to, to get in there. Um, yeah, I think I might hit the two main towers and then a smaller tower somewhere. Let's, let's see what we can do here, though. Oh, I thought I clicked it. Ooh, that's an ML crowd. That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um... Hmm. I'm kind of thinking Hi. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking uh kind of thinking this the with the spectrophenibrio I'm actually kind of curious to see if she can survive um, all three of these AOEs. I don't, I don't actually think she can, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. If I can find her, there she is. Yeah, if anything, I might get hit with two AOEs and then heal her up and then she'll be fine going forward. Because like he can only AOE once, he can only, he can AOE only once and then heal, heal he's kind of reversed, so I can... He'll heal uh, S3 and then I can heal her and make sure, you know, going forward, his, his the rest of his AoEs aren't uh, as impactful, uh, theoretically, anyway. Uh, my Rowan is actually on gear now. She's on counter set. So that's a pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, down here, let's go with our tried and true. Um, uh, I want to push ML Zerato to see just how much of a S10, uh, 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 T Surin counter he is. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do there. Uh, who else can who else can I bring? I think I'm gonna bring him, and maybe him. Mm, that actually looks like a really bad idea. Hmm. Hmm, what if we bring our own MLCC? No, actually, I have to get rid of some of these. No, actually, I, I just re-geared my Dizzy, so let's kind of take a look at what Dizzy can do.
in this. This looks kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't have very high hopes for this. Uh, but let's take a look. Let's let's kind of see. Let's just mess around. Um, this is not well. We really shouldn't be messing around, huh? Um, I guess I should just bring a healer to be safe. I think we have enough. Yeah, I, I, I'm just worried we don't have enough damage. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll just go with that. Fine, let's get in there. Uh, we probably still don't have enough damage because Euphine has never really has that much damage to begin with. But um, All systems we should be fine. He still has a uh, English voice actor. Um, yeah, so. As you can see, not a whole lot of damage. Okay. Let's hit him with this. And everybody has immunity on because of the uh, ML crowd there, so it's not that big a deal. Um, not to, to not use the S3, right? Because that's, like, that's what you want to do. You want to S3 in the situation, but um, not a whole lot of reason to. Uh, let's see if this triggers the uh, Elbrus. Okay, cool. Okay, that's actually a lot of damage. Kind of scary. Okay. I wonder if she'll die. No, I got the miss, so I don't think she's dead. And okay, now let's let's heal her up with the uh, S2 from her. I might, I might have to save this S3 because I think. Um, She's, oh no, she's actually not going to die because I get to do this. Do I want to AoE? Not really, I'm just going to hit you. Hopefully I get the S1 with the, well, not her, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, this is why I S2'd her. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, he's not going to focus on fire, which is good. Does he have counter set? Maybe. Let's um, let's do this. This is probably a bad idea, but that's fine. Oh, actually, not bad. Of course, we gave him the barrier, but that's fine. At least we got the pushback. Okay, come on, come on. No, oh, I didn't get the crit on the Charles, which is pretty annoying. Uh, Ruel might die if he S2s. Yep, come on. Let's see if she can survive the. And she didn't, so that's amazing. Ruel showing just how tanky she is, as always. Uh, we won anyway, so it's not too bad. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Uh, the point of having her was to go after this S3 here. Uh, so I can cleanse it. <laughs> but I didn't, as you can see, it didn't turn out too well. And I get the counter, so that's cool. And I get this counter, so that's even cooler. Uh, let's get this. <laughs> cool. So she's got... Um, Uh, my Dizzy has the um, Abyssal Crown on her. Okay, this is good because now we can all go and Dizzy gets to skip ahead in S3, so that's cool. Ooh, very interesting. And she didn't land the S... the... the what's it called? Let's just land these. Give us some survivability here. My Dizzy's a little less tanky, well, considerably less tanky, I think. That game keeps lagging for somebody, <laughs> apparently. 
Yeah, so she missed against everybody except for Zerato. Zerato is not countering, which is kind of problematic because he's not heal because it means he's not healing. Oh, okay, cool. That that was the main thing. Was like I need him to at least like get one turn here. This is this Mike on? Hopefully, it's Mike is on. I'm not being an idiot. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Let's get this onto everybody. Hey, what kind of damage we're doing? We're looking at here. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, fortunately, she can only S one anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so basically, they're all just gonna die. Uh, and then I get to hit you with this. Oh, he's gonna die. Ugh, so much for Zerato being a counter. Uh, that was, and and I wanna I wanna point out here that was such bullcrap because uh, she S one the first time and didn't get the bleed, which is what ended up uh, killing him. Because if he had gotten that counter, I mean, it would have been a lot better. But yeah. What would have been more useful there is to have the. Um, yeah, just to have the, uh, what's it called? The healer instead of the um, the holiday you fiend, but that's fine. That's no, it's no big deal. Mm, let's go hop out these guys over here, break this, uh, this second fort. I think this one's as simple as maybe running, um, what's his name? Where's the guy? You know the guy. Um, there he is. This here, and then maybe running... Well, nothing's ever simple when you got F-Clary there, that's, so that's pretty annoying. <laughs> Here's that same team again! Oh my gosh. Uh, basically, I guess the fun thing, the funny thing was that last time basically they did all the work. Uh, so maybe we can take a look at what we can do down here instead of, of uh, ML Zerato like last time. Uh, that's not going to work too well, just because, um, yeah, uh, up here, no, I really do need him up here. I think Dizzy is fine down here, but I really need, like, how's that look? This looks kind of asinine, but, um, it might work. Uh, just might work. So this up here looks decent. Let's just get in there. Uh, so she's going first. She's probably going to just hit the um, this guy. See if he resists anything. No, he does not. So he's going to die. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's basically over. We just lost. Oh, maybe not actually. Well, no, I think we still lost because um, even cleansing this, it doesn't really matter because now he's just going to die from like the straight up S3. So what I need to do is I really need to land this. Come on, stun. No, you want to. Ah, I missed. That's okay. So basically, um, G Perg is dead. Yeah, okay. Come on. Okay, so I don't know if that one missed or not or whatever. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. Very perfect. Okay, so now we're in, we're in a bit of trouble because um, this guy down here is going to be pretty irritating. Um, but I think we can uh, do this to him. Okay, so now he's gonna S3. He's gonna S3 her, which is alright, which should be alright, right? Like, she's gonna die, sure. 
But I think, oh no, actually his buffs get extended, which is uh, bad. Okay, yeah. Damn. Uh, so we'll hit this, but he's gonna survive an S3 us, I guess. Or S1 us, I mean. Ah, so close, man. Uh, that sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is very interesting. These are a little speed tuned a little different than last time. These guys are kind of fast. And we get to take off that skill null. Somehow, I f like, I feel like we're not getting a lot. Like, every time you, you see other people's dizzies with Abyssal Crown, like, she gets stuns like crazy, but ours doesn't seem to be stunning very well. Don't really know what's up with that. Let's get these down. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's, let's try to yeah, let's try to get her passive there. Does it clear like all buffs? Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Let's see if I can just kill her. Come on, die. She's dead. Yay. Yeah, I think uh, the the thing the thing we gotta do now is just got to S three that um, the uh, Alencia with Crow, and then just chip away at um, chip away at the uh, what's her name? So that's, what, that's what you get for complaining. Uh, it start, it just starts working randomly. <laughs> um, yeah, you just complain that you don't get any stuns, and then uh, Dizzy just kind of like decides to <laughs> start stunning out of nowhere. Uh, so let's just kill her because she's the main threat. Um, she does decent damage. Let's get this defense buff up. So basically, because of Dizzy, we basically stole all their turns. Like, no one but the, what's it called? The t Siren did anything. <laughs> There's some more uh, debuffs for you. Uh, let's not use that yet. You don't want to put the S3 up because it's like... There's no reason to right now. Okay, see now there's a reason to. And she's stunned, so that's good. Dizzy's S3 into S2 combo is like probably the most debilitating thing in the entire game. Like, especially because you can proc. You have two chances to proc the... Um, the Abyssal Crown as well, which is insane. Uh, it doesn't necessarily win you games because doesn't, she doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but I mean, having those three things, having the possibility of a stun, getting pushed back, and the the, the three debuffs, it's like, um, it's just the most debil debilitating thing ever. Uh, and then we ended with the uh, Horse Crow, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we failed on the top team, which that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Mm, what happened there? We couldn't resist the F Clurry, which means that the um, like basically not not only could we not resist the F Clurry, uh, we couldn't we weren't fast enough, right? Because their whole team went before our team went, except for the 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 the, the you know the Riolu, but that's fine. So let's just kind of look at our our last uh, I guess victim here. There's no healing on their team, so I think what I'm going to do is just run with, um, this. Oh, g -perg is dead. I was going to go with g -perg, but I guess not. Uh, let's go with that and that. And then up here, we'll go with, uh, I don't know. We'll just put, uh, we'll just bring Vildred with us. 
been a while since we got to use them. Um, hopefully we have enough damage up top to just wipe out their whole team. Down below, hopefully with Dizzy pissing everybody off, um, we can do enough. Yeah, let's just get in there. I already lost um, <laughs> one against that main fort, which is already kind of irritating as it is. Okay, so he went for him, which uh, of course was kind of obvious because I brought two waters. And he didn't actually kill him. That is uh, somewhat surprising to me at least. Okay. I didn't get the Alexas, which is it's fine. Okay, so now he gets to do this, which means I. Oh, there you go. He hits him too. Which means I get to do this. And she went first. How very interesting. I say interesting because I because I just mainly want to say infuriating, but um, yeah, that was kind of dumb. I didn't get the Alexis proc either way, so that's fine. He's got missed debuff, which is excellent. Let's see if we can get the defense break. Thank you. Uh, so perfect, basically. Let me just kill her. There you go. Sometimes, like I said, I, I said this in the, the other Guild War video, but like sometimes it's like going in too cautiously gets you maybe not killed. I mean, I probably still would have done decently well here. But sometimes going in too cautiously is not like you don't have to, right? You can just get in there and uh, bring all the damage and then you'll, you'll be fine. Sometimes, right? Not all the time. But maybe not all the damage, like, right? Just the, the fact that I had SSB with the Crow. Sometimes you want to bring a healer into that to be like, oh, let's make sure we survive. But you don't always have to bring a healer. You can just kind of roll, roll it out like that. Fortunately, this lands without missing. Or even through miss, so that's fine. Okay, yeah, all I landed was one debuff there for some reason, so um, that's pretty irritating. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're supposed to wait till like you have to check. You should check the the speed tuning and then use your S3 accordingly. So I was supposed to pay attention there and be like, oh yeah, obviously their um, their fallen CC has not yet. Um, S3, so um, I need to S. Uh, let's see, I need to get rid of these. So I need S3 at the appropriate time, which I did not. I actually probably should have hit um, him, but I didn't because I'm kind of stupid. Uh, I'm just giving it to her just to cycle, so it's like, oh, okay. Um, now let's get, let's push back this Vildred. Now Vildred has not S3'd yet, which is the important part here. Um, this is why I said I should have probably taunted him. There we go, that's now we're talking. Um, so let's make sure everybody's topped off, which was, she was the only one who needed it. There we go, now we're talking. Yeah, so when you're fighting against a lot of t cerns a lot of times it's like you just want to try to like consistently whittle them down right like you don't you can't obviously you cannot like full on um just you can't one shot her right you can't just like cleave her so you just like bring something kind of safe kind of like just consistent damage and you'll be usually you'll be fine um let's see okay there we go perfect Let's go hit you again. Let's hit you again. Very cool. Oh, he did S3 at some point. Oh, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, so she might miss. Hopefully she misses. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, we crit the T-Siren for 23, 27, something like that. Let's heal everybody just for the sake of it here. Okay. Of course. Uh, let's hit this. Let's heal everybody because um, I'm, I'm about to trigger his, uh, his S3 now. Or his uh, revival there. So let's. Uh, I'm about to take his S3 to the face here. He didn't get a counter, unfortunately. Fortunately, and but thankfully, this is back up, so that's cool. And don't you love it when like he hits two thirds of the, of your team, but he doesn't hit the one person you need him to hit, which is dizzy, so she can counter some more. Absolutely irritating. Okay, so now my focus needs to be on killing him so that his revive doesn't come back up again. Oh, come on. Trigger a counter. Nope. I really need him to die. Mm. Let's go take a look at this timer. If his S3 is back, if his S2 is back up again, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, okay, never mind. That's fine. Because then I get to do, I get just get to hit him. No, I don't get to just hit him. Come on, let's go take a look at his uh, this thing here. So he's got one more turn on it. That's pretty annoying. Okay, so he's gonna revive, which is pretty garbage. Oh my gosh, please hit Dizzy. That's all I'm asking, just just hit Dizzy, please, for the life of me. Well, at least uh, we're slowly whittling them down, right? So now A Vildred and um, CC's dead, and we get the, um, we did proc the greater, but we have the um, skill nullifier, well we did. Oh, and then we get to do this. And we didn't get the pushback for some reason. It's pretty annoying. Um, let's heal you up. Okay, so no more barriers, no more uh, pseudo heals. Thank you, finally. We didn't get the counter. I think she's gonna S3 now, yeah. Please, Dizzy, counter. Thank you. And thank you for the dual attack, thank you. Uh, there we go, so that's how that went. Um, still kinda sucks about that other one. Um, kinda thinking about how that, that could have gone better. Honestly, that team up there was just kind of dumb that I that brought to the first one. But yeah, this team is actually pretty good. It, it's not only is it just like kind of good the the this top one anyway. This bottom one is trash, but not only is it kind of good, it's like you have to have the gear to back it up. Like you have to have like a two fifty speed. Um, What's her name? Uh, F. Clurry, right? So that she takes the first turn. Well, I mean, like it, it, it discourages running a CR pusher, right? Because if you're running, a, if you're running like a cleave team, um, you're just gonna kill. You're just gonna get killed by the uh, what's his name? This guy here, you're gonna get killed by the Kron, right? Because he'll survive and then just cleave you, and then that's if like if he doesn't survive, he's gonna or if he survives, he, he dodges, right? He doesn't get hit. 
He's just gonna kill you. He's just gonna kill one of your team members, and he's gonna sit there, right? So it kind of discourages Cleave to some to some degree. Um, but if you're not fast enough to outspeed her, like their their speed tuning was really good because this person is probably gonna target the same person this person is, unless you're bringing water. Um, what I should have done right there was bring G Perg and uh, what's his name? I'm blanking here. G Perg and G Perg and Kron. She would have S3'd uh, G Perg and Crow, not Kron. She would have S3'd the Crow. Then the Crow would have been sitting there with defense and and um, with defense break and what's it called? Uh, what's the exclamation mark and and uh, taunt. So he would have been fine because no one's going to hit him because he would follow up and then hit uh, G Perg and not do a whole lot of damage. Then he would follow up and hit G Perg again. Um, and that would have been a lot better for me in that in that case. Um, still would have been kind of risky um, because like like. He would have S3'd him, and then he would have S3'd him, and then I would have brought him down to trigger his passive, so then he S he can S1 again, um, and then he would have just hit the G-Perg, and then the G-Perg would have died, um, and then he would have, like, we still would have had the same problem of, like, his immortality was kind of a, a big deal there. It's just that, like, the fact that she uh, defense broke into him was, like, super, tr like, the worst part of the whole thing, so... Uh, where are we? Let's go take a look at what we're doing here. So we're at 30 tokens for 5k, and they're at um, 40 tokens for 4.5. I think we're going to lose this one. If I can say so myself. Let's see how I'm doing. Because no one's attacked me still. Actually, I have the skin, but there's no real reason to use Aether for anything. Not even like ML Aether. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. We'll uh, check in uh, when I do the next Guild War uh, video on Wednesday and see how we did. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about this Wednesday because I'm going to be pulling for Kron, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll, we'll get to see who comes after Kron, which is might be Araminta, so keep that in mind for all of you. Um, if we're waiting till the last minute to pull Krow, uh, then there you go. That's what I mean. It's just like now comes like the part where it's like you have to decide whether you do want the crow or the mlr mintha and i want both of them so i think i said this in one of the videos already i think the last video but uh, i'm gonna be pulling on both hopefully i'm gonna be pulling on kron if i have to go to pity that's gonna suck but uh i mean it is what it is i got arbiter a lot of these were should have been i should have i shouldn't be anywhere near pity but i got arbiter pretty early last time so uh, that's kind of like i was gifted arbiter vildred um but here uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I get the uh, The crowd early, but yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, don't know about Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll have a video uh, about uh, not not about but like with uh, K Ron and all that stuff some Guild War stuff I don't know if I'll, I obviously don't do showcases or anything like that, but uh, I mean I might I don't know. We'll see uh, But yeah, I'll have a uh, I'll have crowd built up and ready to go for uh, probably Friday's Guild War and See who can see who we can stomp out. But yeah, until then, uh well, that's it. I'll see you guys.